You're good. 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 a new arrival just came in 1974 marquee of rome and it's very special because of one major thing can you tell looking at it it's a hard top no b pillar I believe they made about 4,000 of these in 1974 and 1974 was the last year of it and this one's just in beautiful condition Runs great, drives great, a few minor things to work on. I love the optional luxury wheel covers. But look at this interior, especially at night. Wow. Twin Comfort lounge seats with this brocade cloth. Dome light with the overhead reading map lights. This car does have the light group, including the under hood light. Auto climate control, AM FM radio, tilt wheel, power driver seat, twin comfort lounge seats. No cruise. What else does it have? Does it have I don't even know yet. Power trunk hood release? No. Uh, it may, but it's not working. That's no big deal. Power locks. Wow. And I loved all the Fords of this era. Doors just close so nicely. Look at that back seat. Great C pillar reading lights. I haven't even cleaned it yet. Very thick carpeting. This 74 rear end, I really do like. Even has the original dealer sticker. Look at the driver's seat here. That's just a little water from my shoes. You know, the floor mats are perfect. Wheels perfect. Driver's seat is like new. Somebody babied this car. This was a garage queen. The seat belt guards aren't faded. Seat belts aren't faded. These tended to fade for whatever reason really easily. And the great Ford blue green light. I'll turn the dome light off here. One bulb out on the climate control panel. It does have auto climate control. Wow. Amazing. They sure don't make them like this anymore. It runs great, too.
haven't even tuned it up yet. Amazing. Smooth as can be. Metal speed might be slightly low, but not bad. I change those heater hoses back to black. Wow. Just whisper quiet. Final roof is perfect. Normally these are bubbly in the corners and this one's not at all. It does need a new exhaust, the Y pipe is not in great shape. But boy is it quiet. And yes, I'm sure you can smell this right through the phone or the computer. Actually, doesn't smell bad. The car's tuned really well. What a great memory for those who grew up with these. Just this tailpipe emitting the moisture and kind of curling around the back end. And that great sound of the big block in the evening today. The late evening. The car arrived really late. Very straight car, though. I don't even think there's a door dinging. It does have the hideaway headlights. And amazingly, no chipped teeth in the grill. This is a plastic grill on 74. The 73s were metal. This one is fine though. It does have cornering lights as well. Thanks for watching this video on the new arrival, so the 74 Marquis Brome hardtop. Stay tuned as I That's go through and fix on. a few minor details and also do a full review. If you're not yet subscribed, be sure to click the circular icon of the 67 Riviera at the top left and then hit there. the bell to ensure you're notified of all my future videos. And until the next video, really take so a look at the bottom it. left and right video thumbnails for some suggestions for you. Off. Until that time, thanks again and take care. What a sweet ride. I always thought this marquee brome interior was more luxurious than the higher priced grand marquee, which was launched in 74. This, by the way, is a one year only seat pattern on this car. And it's the first year they got rid of the high back twin comfort lounge seats, which is unfortunate, but these are still very comfy. I just love no pillar. Doesn't get much cooler than that, does it? I have never owned one of these, so I'm gonna to have to see if there's wind buffeting with this at speed or not. Curious. Motor's just purring away. In any case, stay tuned, more to come.